Hello, hello, I'm um, Simeon Banner and uh, you're in my art studio and we're in uh, London, it's uh, October 2010. Um, we're in Dalston, London and um, I'm just making a short presentation here to show my work, showcase my work, to show my paintings, drawings and also I have an exhibition uh, in, on the 18th of November um, where, well actually the title of the exhibition is No One Tells Us What To Do and uh, the idea of the exhibition is quite novel. Um, myself and uh, another artist, uh, our works have been selected for us. We are not selecting what we show. Uh, we've decided to surrender all control to the two gallery owners. Um, so we're hoping that that will be something, something quite interesting and they'll be able to um, reveal something to us about what we do. Uh, so they could choose something that we really dislike or something that we like. Um, so. Um, that's, that's what we will be doing. Okay, my art is about uh, things that I observe, things that I'm affected by, and that might be something in nature, that might be something that I've observed in the garden, or something that I've seen on the news. Um, so, there's different things that my art is about. I'm an artist because primarily I enjoy making images and I want to explore something that I find something that hasn't been found before. I um, just like to, I just want to show here the kind of process where uh, a picture is made. Um, usually starts off as a drawing, so like here we are, you can see um, in my sketchbook here it was a quite a simple drawing of uh, some fruits, so you've got a pear there on a, on a table, but it's quite quite a, a, sim a simple sort of image with these diagonal lines as well. And um, when we get to the painting here, there's quite a difference obviously between, between the drawing and the painting. But I think for me, it, it's not important that I copy exactly um, the drawing, although at times I, I also do do that, but on this occasion, um, in order for the picture to have some life, it takes on a, it takes on a, a life of its own. Um, but I think it always, in the end, you know, the drawing is very important. It's something to refer to, and it's a, a structure to, to base to base the painting on. Um, I try and keep the painting open, um, so that you know the image is it has its own life, really, has its own identity. It's not just an, an, a complete copy of the drawing. Um, so you can see here. What, what I was influenced by. The painting, uh, the materials the painting was made of, uh, basically acrylic, so that's like, um, it's not oil paint, it um, tends to be flatter, and I've used here uh, these etching marks, and you have, uh, it's, it, the whole, the structure is quite um, circular and uh, curved, and then you have the, this kind of, diet, this kind of more uh, angular shape here, as a, as a, as a contrast. Um, I've, as you can see, like the in the drawing that the table structure is, is still there but it's been lost somewhat um, but at that stage I was, I was happy with it, I thought the painting um, I thought the painting was finished so that's what I wanted to say about that uh, and here is another example this is quite a, rough, quite a rough drawing, quite a rough sketch so you can see here um, I was inspired to to make a picture of basically a, it's quite a simple image of a tree um, and um, so I just knew that's what I wanted to do and, I, and I, I'd written here that it would be copper and silver, the colours would be copper and silver. Um, so here is uh, the painting I made of that. Um, so I think it does perhaps more than this picture, it does relate, it does relate more to the drawing if you can see there. Um, so the colours are, you have this quite schematic flat representation. Um, so I guess it does represent a landscape, but it's quite, the, the forms are quite quite simplified here, you can see. And the colours are quite restricted. Usually I choose colours, they're not nat naturalistic colours, colours are usually um, perhaps from things that I see. I have here a collection of images that I use, so there's some drawings in there, and um, for example, catalogues, clothing catalogues. 
given to me by my cousin. <laughs> and um, for example, these paint charts as well, I might use the colours from those. Or here I have uh, something I cut out from an orange, uh, orange packaging, orange carton, sorry. And uh, so the colours there, perhaps, that those are the decisions, those are the colours I would use for that. Um, Here is an image uh, of a painting in the National Gallery, actually, by an artist called Goya. And it, it shows, it's just part, part of an image, so sometimes I might be inspired to paint a picture based on art, on other, other art that I, that I admire and I enjoy. And at other times, um, it may be something that I've seen, for example, uh, out of a landscape when I've been traveling. So I've got some paintings here uh, of landscapes that I painted, drew, I drew actually many, many years ago and I went, went back to see here, this, this landscape here. So that was initially drawn in a sketchbook uh, out of a, out the window of a train, so I made uh, these, these paintings out of it. The colours are very intense and quite, quite artificial, perhaps. The sorts of colours you might have in advertising uh, to attract people's attention. Did, it didn't seem right for me to make, make a landscape that was uh, like a traditional landscape, a landscape where I sat and observed and used all naturalistic colours, the colours as they would be. It's a landscape of the imagination. Um, so I'm not constrained by um, you know, what, what, nature <laughs> what nature dictates. So I'm just running through, through here some of the pictures I've made. I tend to work quite in quite a small scale. It's to do with space and because I draw a lot, I draw more than I paint. Uh, these are also kind of similar sizes to drawing, so I kind of like that connection as well. It's very important. So I'm just running through here. Here are some still lives. Um, some trading shoes. Uh, a scene of a garden. I think may have a line is very important in my work. I think that's a feature. So the areas tend to be quite flat. They're not, um, the space is very flat. What's important to me is the shape, the composition, and um, the, the line is very important. So just showing some works here. I think my work really fits into actually quite classical, um, let me see, how can I say, classical categories really, like there are still lives, pictures of objects, there are portraits, there are landscapes. Um, I find that categorization, or if, when I think about my work, I find it easier to, like, before I start, I can imagine, ah, this will fit in that category, and that, that helps me, I think, when I do that. So I imagine, oh, is this will be a still life, or will it be a landscape? It gives me some link as well with the past, which I think is important. Get a sense of where I am in relation to what other people are doing as well. Here, um, this is a basket of fruit um, because, yeah, relating to the National Gallery where I'm working, um, I just I'm very in, interested in the still life paintings. Particularly, I was thinking of the Spanish painters. Um, so there's off uh, painters like Verbrand. So you have, I mean, some of his paintings you just have these uh, incredible, incredible objects. Really, usually the backgrounds are very dark uh, in the in the Spanish paintings. Um, so I've just got this very kind of simple line. It's not they're not filled in like the paintings in the gallery, but um, yeah, I wanted to make a make a you know, make a painting, make a still life painting that was influenced by the by those artists, but in a different way, basically. You know, it has a composition, it has these circular shapes, it has this kind of hatched background. Um, it's quite, I don't know, in a, in a sense it's quite empty, it's like, um, I want the, I guess I think I want the pictures to look almost like they could dematerialise in a way, like they're just being held together by the very thinnest of elements and that's also why I got, became quite interested in using uh, MDF, this is a very basic kind of wood that you can get anywhere, um, and it, in a way I like it to look like quite, quite shoddy in a way, but quite well crafted, like this material is common isn't it, it's easily available. Um, 
and you know you can see something something of the material here it's almost like the image is incomplete somehow um, I, I hate completion actually that's very important that I, what I like is uh, images that are uh, you have a lot of space and air almost like they're falling apart really and perhaps you get a sense of that in, in this picture as well like th there's this kind of chaotic mess and then but it looks like it's about to untangle so I don't like things that are fully completed. I don't like images that are... Um, I, I think it's important as a metaphor they have space to breathe.